What's up everybody, it's that white boy from the yard and today I wanted to talk about slim pills. First, I mean, I must say, I'm out, it's empty, which really sucks, you know, um, but I'm really glad they are back in stock since today. Now, this is a product that is getting recreated by a lot of large and mainstream supplement companies, but they are just adding ingredients and not even using the right amounts, dosages, and so on. So I wanted to give you guys a quick overview on slim pills and on other so-called slim pills. So I tried a couple insulin memetics and I must say none of them were quite as good as slim pills because I'm going to show you guys. This is only $35, okay, and it has, it has 40 servings and a serving size is three capsules, all right? Now I'm going to grab another one which are which is also so-called Slim Pills, which is Slim RX. Different brand, different company. Um, and I'm going to give you guys a quick overview on the ingredient list, okay? Now the only thing that's in here is that's similar to Slim Pills is berberine at 300 milligrams. All right, so I'm just get over it real quick, okay? So Slim Pills, ingredient number one, berberine HCL, which is 300 milligrams. Now we have berberine HCY, which is a different version, I believe. It's 300 milligrams as well. So like I said, comes pretty close. It's ex exactly the same. All right, so for the second one in Slim Pills, cinnamon extract, 30 to one, 200 milligrams. Now this one has cinnamon bark extract, 500 milligrams. Now I don't even know why you would wanna have that much cinnamon. Cinnamon is good for a couple of things, digestion and so on, but there's a reason why this is 200 milligrams, okay? And not 500. So they are just trying to replace some ingredients with different ingredients or higher dosages to make it look like it works. But to be honest, it's just not really the same. Next one is ALA at 150 milligrams. The next one in this one is Gymnema leaf extract at 1000 milligrams. To be honest, I don't really even know what it is, but it's not even in slim pills. And 1000 milligrams is quite a lot, so I, I don't even know why they put it in there. Uh, then we got fenugreek extract, 150 milligrams in the slim pills. And we have sodium, 200 milligrams. I wouldn't really see why you would add sodium in it. You know, maybe because you would get a little bit of veins popping, but that's not how it should work, you know. If your veins are popping, it should be because of the carbs getting into the muscle and not because of uh, sodium and stuff like that added to it. We got camphorol at 150 milligrams. And now, now comes the funny part, okay? Because they actually put apple cider vinegar in there um, because it's good for digestion. It burns fat. That's what people say, okay? But they add 125 milligrams of apple cider vinegar to this product. Well, it's not even in the slim pills. I mean, you would have the idea that it would help you with digestion, but that's not what it's supposed to do. It's the blood sugar that's supposed to drop so the carbohydrates could get into the muscle, you know, carbs into muscle, and not focusing on digestion, all right? And the last one they add in here is black pepper extract, which is good for pumps and vascularity as well, but it's not what's supposed to be in here, you know. And I'm show you guys real quick. Hope you guys can see it. It's a totally different ingredient list, totally different ingredients, dosages, and so on. And now you see, this has 60 servings, 60, all right? So it's a pretty large bottle. This one has 40, but it Serving size is three capsules, while this one has four capsules. So in theory, it's the same amount. It will be empty after a month or something like that. But still, as in results, when I take this and I completed the entire 240 capsules, just to you know make sure uh, I really felt what it was and what it was like. But now with slim pills, I could literally eat four, maybe five pizzas a week and don't even gain fat. Not at all, you know, I feel really good, really pumped. Uh, I even can see some, my stomach get thinner and that's so, which is really good. But whenever I tried this one, nothing really happened. You know, the capsules were yellow, almost like the slim pills, which is yellow and blue. So they really 
remake the entire product but wrong they just did it wrong they just put the wrong stuff in it the wrong ingredients the wrong dosages and so on and now the funny thing is look at the price this is in euros right this is let me see what this is 44.90 almost 45 dollars which is a lot because this one is 35 dollars i believe and it will get you more bang for your buck guys trust me i'm not going to stand here and lie to you guys because like i said i tried both multiple times actually i bought two of these i bought i had like four in the meanwhile of these as by now but really there isn't anything coming close to slim pills and there are many other supplement companies online trying to sell insulin memetics um, just look them up and you will see that the dosages and the ingredients are not the same like not at all so it's almost like a ripoff you know there are companies who add like 500 milligrams of berberine to it which really sucks for me personally because if I take berberine, I get mad as reflux. You know, I really hate berberine actually, but it works and not at 500 milligrams. Just keep the dose low at 300 milligrams. There's a reason why they put these ingredients and amounts of ingredients in this, in this product. So bottom line, insulin mimetic like slim pills versus the rest actually. Slim pills wins, definitely. There isn't any slim pill on the market uh, or an insulin memetic that isn't quite as good as slim pills. And if someone was planning on doing the MK677 cycle, I always suggest using slim pills alongside to keep the insulin sensitive. Because you could get an insulin sensitivity crash on MK677 if you would run it for longer periods of time or higher in dosages. Or you would have to take a couple of days on, a couple of days off. But if you want to have maximum results and you want to be able to stay on the MK677, just take slim pills. I mean, I take a serving a day with my highest carbohydrate meal. I take one capsule in the morning and one capsule before bed. So this, this is almost two servings. So I really rely on slim pills these days. Um, I don't want to get fat, but I still love me some pizza or something like that. So this is amazing, guys. If you've never tried the product, just do it, man. I swear to God, you won't regret it. All right, that was it for today's video. Thanks a whole lot for watching again. If you liked the video, please don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel, which is White Boy from the Yard. Follow me on Instagram, which is White Boy from the Yard as well. And that was it, guys. See you on the next bit.